Hi, honey bear. How was your day today? He was outside for most of it, weren't you, little boo? Got the sun. What a beautiful day. It's been pretty cold and rainy, but today it's finally feeling like spring, isn't it, my friend? You happy daddy's home? Oh, look at the little white tip on his tail. That's how daddy finds you in the dark. It's your little, little kitty beacon, isn't it? Oh, that sun's really coming down now, isn't it, my friend? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Check it out. My goodness, look at that sunshine, little boo. He likes it, I think. You like the sun, don't you, little boo? Look how happy he is. Look how happy the baby is. This is his favorite thing, isn't it? Out in the woods with Daddy, huh? Seeing what nature has to say. Oh, gotta check his little kitty checkpoints too, huh, my friend? Bought some fertilizer today. Gotta do it soon, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna put it down. Crabgrass preventer. Yes, prevent it from taking over the yard, huh, little boo? Not really a huge fan of applying that myself. I may have a service do it. It's so expensive, too. It's probably the same price to have someone else do it. They'll probably do a better job than me because that's what they do for a living. Oh, little boo. It's generally how it works. Not always, but, you know, look how happy he is. You can tell by his tail. Oh, yes. He's like, it's me, Daddy, and Jesus outside. Oh, little boo. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, that sun just keeps on peeping at us, doesn't it, my friend? Yeah. It's always cool when it goes through the trees. Look at the clouds look nice too today. Oh, my friend, what you looking at over there? There's something going on over there that you should tell me about, fill me up. Oh, they're jumping into my hands on a little bit. Look at this little rock here. Look, little boo, it's a red speckled rock. Okay. <laughs> Gotta check this tree out. We've been having all sorts of different cats coming over. Probably because a lot of the food that cinema doesn't eat instead of throwing it away, I've been putting it out for the possums, and that attracts other animals, including cats. And it's interesting. He gets upset sometimes, but I think overall he enjoys having something to look at through the window. So we definitely won't deny him that, oh, my friend. Well, the sun's coming down again, isn't it? Maybe we'll come back inside with a nice sun tan. Mm hmm. Look at you, careful little boy. You're getting, you're getting burrs from that thing. Oh boy, that's how I get so many burrs. Look at them clouds, my friend. Ah, not quite cotton candy like they were this morning. Where's the baby gonna go next? Where's the little baby gonna go, my friend? Where are you gonna go next? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, huh? What you thinking about? You like it when the wind is going through your fur like that? Hmm? Look at you, look how cute he is. Yes, he is. He's a little lion, isn't he? I heard a story today. It was on the news. I haven't looked up the article myself. That's what told me at work. There was a guy hunting deer with a bow on a tree. And he noticed something unusual for the area he was in. There was hardly any deer, if not no deer at all. So. He thought that was unusual because he's familiar with the area. Then he realized he saw a mountain lion, a panther. They are not common in Michigan, but they have been spotted in both the upper peninsula, where they're most common, and the lower peninsula. I forget exactly where this guy was, but anyway, he was hunting and the mountain lion was stalking him. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make yourself look as big as possible and be as loud as possible to try to scare it. But that was not working. He was in the tree. He was doing all that waving his arms, yelling, the thing was not backing down. And that's a problem. And, and they're very fast too. A lot of times when people are attacked, they don't even know until it's too late. And this guy was trying everything and eventually what he did is he shot the cat with his bow and it killed it. And there was some controversy around that, but he survived and he was able to tell about it. A lot of people said he did it just to, to mount it, but he didn't do that. He called the DNR, that's the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and reported the incident and they confiscated the cat. And uh, he was okay. It's an unfortunate situation all around, but he did survive, so that's good. So that's pretty scary. Definitely 
have to keep an eye out and be aware of what's around you on a little boot. Very unusual occurrence. Most of the time they run away, but people on bikes and joggers sometimes get picked off by these large cats too. Very scary. Very fast. Just imagine cinnamon times 20. <laughs> way, way dangerous. Although well, I think you'd be hopefully nice to daddy, huh? Yes, but he's not a wild boy, not anymore. At least, not all the time. But there's other cats in the area people should be aware of, so they're not getting themselves into trouble, huh? Little boo. But I guess, you know, if you're out there hunting, you're kind of putting yourself out there, and there's always a risk that the hunter will become the hunted, huh? Yes. I'm sure they understand that too. Oh, you know, it's a chance scratch, doesn't he? A chance scratch is for the baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he said that a cat ran like 100 yards and dropped and deceased. Are we going to scratch that tree too, little boo? Yeah, I've never seen a mountain lion, at least not one in the wild. My dad has twice in an area that they're very seldom spotted, so that was pretty interesting. Oh, little boo. Oh, yeah. we got to keep our eye out. I wonder if a panther's ever crossed these paths. Except for you, little. Oh, yes. You and the neighbor kitties, of course. Yeah. I'm talking about the big ones. It's the king size panthers, not the little cubs. <laughs> Just teasing. We definitely have smaller wild cats like bobcats and things like that. I haven't seen one here, thankfully, because I'm not sure how they'd be behaving to Cinnabon, huh? I wonder how they would behave around a little kitty like you. Hopefully, Cinnabon will get away, although I don't know, I'm not really thinking about that. Cats are dangerous. They're fast. Oh, little boo. They yeah, sure are. There are bears. I've never seen one on this property, but they're not far away. They've been sighted like within 15 minutes here. Mm hmm So there's a potential. Most cases with black bears, they run away. They're more afraid of you typically. But there's always exceptions. I have a friend that was stalked by one. And he was able to get out of that situation. And I have a buddy too who was in South Asia years ago. And because of circumstances over there, they weren't able to have any actual weapons except walking sticks. He was walking with a tour guide and they spotted a large actual tiger, like the gold ones. Obviously that's a situation that's not good and they just had walking sticks so they were very exposed. And the guide said, remain calm and maintain eye contact with the cat and back away. Don't turn your back. And he said, back away while you're maintaining eye contact and hopefully the cat will lose interest. Basically two possibilities, cat's gonna lose interest or you're gonna become dinner. Yeah, you don't want that. And so they maintained eye contact. And they kept them walking backwards while they're maintaining eye contact. And the tiger eventually lost interest, which is good for their sake and their health, if you will. So they were able to get out of that situation. But he said the friend <laughs> he said that you know, after the event he realized he had an accident in his uh, drawers and uh, I don't blame him one bit. I think that's a natural reaction sometimes in that situation to try to make yourself unappealing. Like he's like, yeah, I lost control of everything. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't blame you for that. <laughs> I'm not going to give you crap for that. No pun intended. Maybe that's what helped. I don't know. That's why we got to be careful. Yes, we got to be careful. No, it's just things that can eat us. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's not so common up here, though. Coyotes. Well, they aren't going to probably eat me, but they're going to try to go after you. That's why you got to run away and climb a tree because they can climb trees like you can. They can't climb trees like the baby. Mm-hmm. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna check his other pile. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks for enduring my stories, and we'll talk to you next time. Be safe out there. Cinnamon, do you wanna say bye-bye? Oh, what a nice plate kitty cat. Yeah, it's just like that he taught you to be, huh? Or you were probably played before, weren't you? He was always a plate kitty. We're back home already, aren't we, little boo? I think he wants to go back inside already. That's okay, he's been outside all day, so I don't blame him.